Well, um, the reason we have uh, Eric here today is Eric had uh, served 20 years as a detective for which police department was it? It was South Salt Lake. South Salt mm -hmm. Lake. And was that a fairly rough area? It's the highest, it, at the time it was the highest crime rate per capita in the state of Utah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and you served as kind of an undercover agent for a while. Um, tell, tell us, how did you get into that line of work? How did you move from being a detective to kind of moving into undercover? Well, so all police officers start basically in the patrol division, and that was where you kind of get your cut your teeth and start learning how to work on the road and to work with different individuals. And so I became fairly uh, adept at working uh, to find narcotics. So. It was something that I was interested in, and uh, one of the positions in the detective division became available, and so I tested for that, and I was selected to work on the narcotics team. Okay, and so I've seen some pictures of you as you were serving <laughs> undercover, and you look a lot different than you do now. Um, how did that transformation happen? Did just they said, okay, yeah, now you need to grow your hair long, you need to grow a big old <laughs> goatee. <laughs> no, there was actually no requirement one way or the other. I could have simply dressed how, uh, the, the way I'm dressed today if I wanted to. It was just something that they said it's open to however you feel most comfortable. And what we found is that the clientele that we were working with in that particular area kind of had that, that same look. And so I just kind of tried to do that in order to blend in and become a little bit more. It was easier for me to infiltrate and work into those, those groups by dressing in that manner. Now, when I think of Salt Lake or Utah, I think of Mormons. I think of... <laughs> Um, just a wonderful, beautiful place yeah. to live. Right. Was it not like that? Uh, no, uh, quite the contrary. I mean, Salt Lake and, and Utah are exactly the way you think that they are. But just like any other big city, no matter where it is, you're going to find criminal element, and they have those same types of activities that take place in the Salt Lake Valley. So even though it's still a great place to live, even though it's a wonderful place to raise a family, there's still going to be the same types of criminal element that you would find in any other big city. So from, from murders to sex trade to pornography, the whole gamut. Anything and everything that you would find in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Seattle, New York, you would find in Salt Lake City, just on a slightly smaller scale due to the size of the, of the population. Did you ever find that your life was in danger? Yes, many times. There were, there were several times I've had, uh, I was involved in a couple of different shootings while I was uh, a police officer, uh, the most, uh, Probably the most dangerous of the two was a, was a gang member when I was working as a, it was a, I was a detective in the gang unit, the Salt Lake Metro gang unit. And we were looking for him. He had been running from uh, many of the police agencies, uh, was trying to get out of town. And at one point we were able to locate him. We tracked him down. And as a group, we were actually coming around a corner and he had, had his hands in his pockets and uh, we started giving him commands for him to not to move. He turned toward us and actually shot at us through his coat. Mm. And I could remember very vividly, uh, you know, the, the little tiny white piece of, of down fluff that was floating through the air, almost in slow motion. So anyway, we returned fire and he ended up, he ended up being killed. But that was, that was one of the most, probably the most dangerous times of my career. But i would had many of those, you know, close calls throughout my time. What, what was one of the more satisfying, or what were some of the very satisfying things of doing the work that you did? Really, for me, the, the idea of becoming a police officer was all about helping people and trying to, trying to better my own, my own world that I was living in. Uh, you know, we, uh, when I very first started, uh, the first four years of my career, I worked for a very small police department in Sandy, uh, and uh, that, was, that was a lot less, a lot less high crime rate, but one of the things that I that I liked about it was is that I was I kind of learned how to deal with people and then when I moved to South Salt Lake for the last 16 years of my career then I was uh, then I was really in tune with that and so uh, but, but living there in in Sandy I lived in the same city that I worked in and so when I was doing that I was actually making a change in my own direct community so it, it just was something that had always been a part of me that I wanted to help and I wanted to I wanted to do kind of my share uh, you know, I have so much respect for people that are in the military or in, in law enforcement because of that mindset of, you know, doing their part, doing their share, and so it was something that was alluring to me. You know, when I, when I talk with people who are in the police department, oftentimes it seems like they get very negative and they get very um, 
pessimistic about life and about people. How did you keep yourself out of that slump? That's a, it's a very slippery slope and people have a tendency to do that. You know, a lot of police officers, they don't, they don't get themselves grounded in really the most important things in life. And for me, everything about my life has always been about my family and about my religion and, and staying close uh, in, my, in my particular religion. And so I love, uh, I love spending time with my family. I love being with uh, you know, people that have good, good values. And so that really helped me. That helped me to stay grounded and, and have that foundation. And by doing that, I didn't become involved with a lot of the nefarious type uh, activities and you know, some of the, the less alluring behaviors that, that sometimes accompany that negativity, that negativity that you see in law enforcement. Law enforcement is a, is, is a difficult career. I mean, it was something that for 20 years I had that feeling of being pulled down and, and uh, you know, being bombarded not only by the public, but by the people that we were working with, that we were working against, if you will, or the ones, the criminals that we were trying to stop. And for, for 20 years, it was, it was difficult to not allow myself to become over, overtaken by, those, by the, that type of mentality. Well, Eric, thanks for your service. We really appreciate it, and yeah. I appreciate your time today. Thank Absolutely. you very much. My pleasure. Enjoy Thank the game. You. Thanks.